we have some patients who don't want to use a lactate meter, uh, either because it's cumbersome or somewhat intimidating. We also sure. add another metric, which is relative perceived exertion, RPE. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you what my rule of thumb is, but I'd like you to sharpen it, refine it, throw it out, make it better, whatever. I tell patients based on my experience, so I don't know how extrapolatable that is. Mm -hmm. When I'm in zone two, as confirmed by lactate levels, mm -hmm. so call it 1.7 to 1.9 millimole, which is what I target, mm -hmm. I can carry out a conversation. So I can spend my entire, because I do most of mine on a, on a Wahoo kicker. I put my bike on a Wahoo kicker. Mm -hmm. nice. I can spend the entire 45 minutes on a phone call. Yes, absolutely. But, but it's not as comfortable as this discussion here. Exactly. I'm a little more strained. Yeah. But if I can't talk, if I feel like I can't talk, I'm too high in the intensity. Yeah. Do you think that that's a reasonable surrogate for people to use across the spectrum of not particularly fit all the way up to Pogacar? 1000%. And, and I use the same metrics also with people who, uh, like, you know, like you, you mentioned, they, they don't want to do a hard um, lactate meter or they don't have access or, or they, I get hundreds of emails about where can I do this test, you know, and I, or, or is there anything that I can do, right? Um, so, and I agree hundred percent, you know, that um, with everything that we know at the, at the granular cellular level, by injecting fuels and sustrates yeah, yeah. directly into the mitochondria, we cannot get more cellular level and scientific than that. The surrogate or the specific exertion, it works beautifully. You know, I know that people are coming out with different algorithms based on heart rate variability or the DFA, one alpha, yeah. you know, et cetera. But honestly, I agree hundred percent with you. Um, uh, if you. If you can, I always tell people, if you can exercise whatever the exercise you do, and maintain a conversation like you and I are doing, you're way too easy. You're probably zone one. Yep. Um, um, if you can talk, but it's some form of strain. You can talk for two hours, right? Um, uh, but yeah, we're talking you're, Yeah, you're just, like at, that. you're just at that yeah, threshold exactly. of the, per yeah. put it this way, the other litmus test I tell people is, the person on the other end will know you are exercising. Uh, exactly. You, you will not be able to yeah. mask from them yeah. that you are exercising. Exactly. And in yeah. fact, I have, I have many conference calls with, you know, like um, people that I know to be respectful, but I do it on the bike, you yeah. know, uh, uh, work, as you said, you know, they call me and I'm on the bike, uh, either outside or in, in the trainer and, and they tell like, you're exercising, right? Because you can feel it. Uh, but yet I can, I can maintain a full hour meeting on the bike, right? Um, uh, and, and, and without bothering the other person because they can understand me. But as I said, if you cross to the point where you cannot maintain that conversation, that's where you, you it's because yeah, you're, 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 you need to breathe much faster yeah. because you're producing more CO2. And that's probably because you're already transitioning from the slow twitch muscle fibers to the fast twitch muscle fibers, more glycolytic, more lactate, more CO2, more buffering capacity. So it seems old school, but it works beautifully. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.